For one year, I grew and foraged 100% of my food, which means no grocery stores, no restaurants, nothing packaged, nothing processed, nothing shipped long distances, not even going for a drink at a bar for the entire year. Instead, everything that I ate either had to come from my gardens, where I grew it, or foraging it. Our current globalized industrialized food system has made it very easy for us to just hand over some money, get what we want, and never have to think about the implications of that food that we have on our plate. One thing that we need to be able to do is actually understand our food and, and where it comes from and how it impacts everything, people, other species, and, and the ecosystems that the food is coming from. My goal was not just to grow all of my own food, but it was really about just exposing people to this idea that food can be growing freely and abundantly all around us and doesn't have to come from the grocery store. It doesn't have to come from huge corporations that are shipping it around the world. When I landed in Orlando, Florida, I just had my backpack with nothing else. And so I had no land, no home, no property. And so one of my first tasks is that I had to find a place to actually grow food. And what I did is I talked to people in the community who had front lawns that were neglected. And I said to them, what do you think about the idea of me turning your lawn into a garden? And that's what I started to do. And so all of the food that I grew was grown on six front yards, all within about a mile and a half, easy biking distance of where I was staying. Generally, the project was extremely difficult. I was working 40 to 80 hours, many weeks, uh, in my garden, planting, harvesting, weeding, uh, in my kitchen, processing food, cooking, preserving it, whether it was canning or drying, countless hours out foraging, and then hundreds of hours of just cleaning dishes and, and, and everything, and then eating. I was feeling quite deficient in fat and protein. I was actually feeling my body and I was pulling on my skin and I noticed that my skin was a lot stretchier and I felt like I had lost a good amount of muscle and fat. And so I was a little worried at that point whether I was able, gonna be able to actually continue. I actually worried could I be doing damage to my health. I had been having a hard time catching enough fish and that was one of my main sources of protein. So I started to catch enough fish and then over a period of weeks or a month I worked my you know, health back up and finished the year off weighing the same amount as I started. I wanted to show people what's possible. If I can go to this extreme, a lot of people will see that and they'll say, well, I can you know, have a little raised bed in my front yard and grow my own salad, or I can have some herbs on my balcony, or I can learn where my food comes from. First would be to try to eat local, as much food as possible that comes from your area, from local farmers or gardeners. The second is eating food that's unpackaged, that's not wrapped in plastic, that's not gonna leave behind trash for future generations for hundreds of years. And right along with that, the third one is unprocessed. So food that is whole food. So for example, apples rather than applesauce. Another one is eating organic and not just looking at a label and saying, okay, this says organic on it, but really understanding the reality of that food and eating food that wasn't sprayed with pesticides and was grown in a way that worked with nature then rather than against it. And that leads perfectly into number five, which is growing a little bit of your own food. You don't have to grow all of your own food, but to just have some tomato pots on your balcony or some herbs uh, on your windowsill or a little raised bed in your front yard or go crazy and turn your whole front yard into a garden and do edible landscaping everywhere. <laughs>